black lightish purple much smaller because that profile is cool so right just crazy but kind of bloodline in the middle what's happening fish and friends welcome to another episode i have a box yes it is unboxing time now this is all lures from one company i put in an order with missile baits and funny enough let me move this i actually put in an order because of this i saw this shirt on instagram john cruz posted it I believe he's the owner of Missile Baits. I don't know how all that works. I noticed on the uh, the shipping bill, it said John Cruz, Missile Baits. I don't know. I guess he owns it. I don't know. The other thing I liked is look at that. They even give you a little personalized note. They write you a little thank you on their Logan, I think is who it was. Must have been the person that put mine together. But I thought that was cool. A nice little touch that you just don't see very often these days. So I like that. And the shirt, Bass Fishing is my therapy. Um, totally, totally true because, man, last year... And even before that, like it's such a great way to get out, clear your head, uh, especially last year, uh, you know, with quarantine and all this and that, like there's some wild, crazy demons that go on in your head, uh, you know, in times like that. But luckily for me, fishing saved it. So today I've got an unboxing of some more lures. Got the shirt, like the shirt, kind of a, a cool gnarly tie dye. Um, but really the lures, there's a couple things that caught my eye and we're going to start with these these bags, these beginner bags. I was honestly going to reach out to Missile Baits and, and say, hey, would you be interested in, you know, sending some to my channel to do a review? I thought, you know what, I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm just going to buy some because these are going to be given away anyway. These are going to uh, a couple beginners out there. Now, those are going to be their own separate videos. I'm going to run through them real quick, quick now just to show you what's in them. But each one of these bags is going to have its own separate video. Uh, I'm going to go over what's in them again real quick. I'm going to talk about rigging. Uh, the rods and reel line usage and then i'm going to give it to someone so whoever gets it they'll have my whole kind of quick tutorial to go over uh as a, hopefully something to help the beginner so the first one is the nico rig kit so the, the cool thing that missile baits is doing which i think is awesome for beginners is they put together a little bag essentially everything you would need um, if you're someone who is new to fishing a nico rig to get started um, and actually the nico rig i have had the most success with um, is from them their 6.5 quiver so in here they give you a number of these and actually this color uh, I want to get some of these I think there was another one in here this is a 6.5 inch they call plutonium green pumpkin core so if you've never seen these quivers like from here back they almost look like a rib stick bait right they have these little ribs that's gonna help displace water and move water looks kind of like a stick bait but once you go back it's got this very thin tail but you flip it on its side it's almost like spade shaped you can see this has like an in, inner core shot, but it's like this smoky kind of bluish flake on the outside. Then when you hold it up to the light, you can see it's got this like green pumpkinish core to it. Super neat color. Love these. So that's the first thing you get in that pack. Let's just grab all the plastics and see what all they give you in there. They give you, oh yeah, a 4.5 quiver in Bammer Craw, which is like that orange green pumpkin. They give you another 6.5 and what do they call this, GP3? Yeah, that's another color I want to get. I didn't order any of these separate like the quivers because I'd used them before. I wanted to get some stuff that I hadn't used, but I like them. Especially for a Nico rig, you could fish them on a shaky head. Um, heck, you could even wacky rig them to fish them weightless, but love those a lot. Of course, they give you just the standard green pumpkin 6.5. I did really well on that color. And then there's another one. I forget what the color is. It's like a black and blue with green pumpkin. Love it. Um, they also give you a Coover 4.5 in Fishalicious, which is like a smoky, transparent shad, kind of bait fish looking color. That one's really neat. And the last one they give you is the Quiver 6.5 Watermelon Red Core. So they're doing a core shot on it. If you've never seen those core shots, super neat. It's like a green pumpkin skin, but inside it was shot with like a, that reddish watermelony color. You can see in the tail there how it gets shot in the middle. Really neat. I like it. I like their, uh, their lures. Uh, their plastics, especially this quiver, I've used that the most out of all their stuff. Uh, that and the D-Bomb, I did get some of those. Both great lures. So that's the plastics you get in there. They give you a card that talks about the Nico rig. We'll go on that more in depth. They give you a cool missile bait sticker. And then it also comes with your terminal tackle rigging essentials. So it comes with a 3 16th ounce nail weight head. That goes into the, the head of the worm so you can, well, I'll, like I said, I'll go more in depth. 1 8th ounce, 1 16th ounce, and a little 1 32nd ounce. They also throw in a pack of the uh, the Kamikatsu finesse hooks, which is interesting. I, I figured they would have went with like a, a VMC Nico hook or something, but um, I've honestly never tried this kind for a Nico rig, and I guess I might have to. I've never done it, but um, that's their little finesse hook. So everything that you need 
minus um, the O-rings. That's the only difference I use is I use an O-ring. Um, it helps so you don't lose your worm as easy. And like I said, how many times have I said we're gonna go over that more? That is the Nico rig kit for missile baits. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Like I said, for somebody who doesn't really know, it kind of gives you a little taste of, uh, of everything that they have all in one pack, everything you need to get started. Okay, and then the second kit that I got is the pond fishing kit. Um, I know a lot of you out there are fellow bank anglers like myself. Um, and of course, fishing ponds is too dang fun. So let's go through this one quick. Again, the card and the sticker like the last one. Okay, first off, they give you one of the Chatterbait Elites, which is a good Chatterbait. I do like the Elite a lot. Good hook on it, good hook keepers. That's in the bluegill color. Um, of course, I think that's probably gonna be a reoccurring theme. Sunfish, bluefish type colors. Of course, that's what you're gonna see a lot of in the ponds. They also give you that uh, finesse hook, a pack of those again in here. Some 132nd ounce Nico weights, again for the Nico rig on some of these because uh, you will notice they give you some stuff to do some Nico rigging. So they give you uh, Sunfish IPA in that 4.5 quiver. Nice neat color there, that kind of chartreuse -y, almost like a see-through-ish watermelon-y. I mean, very much, you know, very reminiscent of a Sunfish bluegill type color and these I actually ordered uh, some of these for myself I have never used their paddle tails before this is called the shockwave 3.5 so a little 3.5 inch paddle tail pretty thin tail so I imagine this is gonna have quite a bit of action it's not a big huge tail um, it does have the slit in the belly which allows that hook to move up through there so you get a little bit better hookup ratio but the head is solid so if you're using like a, a screw-in hook or whatever, um, the head is going to stay on there a little bit better. Got a little bit more meat, but that color is awesome. Shrapnel is the color. I should have ordered some of these. I didn't. I've never used these before, but they call this the 48. Uh, this is in June bug color. Does it say how long this is? doesn't say how long it is, but this is like their stick bait deal. Never used it. I imagine that would look great on a wacky rig. Um, you could Texas rig it too, but I just really see... Um, you know how it goes kind of tapers in the middle gets a little bit skinnier a little bit bigger on each side that to me just screams Wacky rig which is great for pond fishing um, You have a dirtier a little bit muddier pond June bug like that is an awesome color They also gave you that 48 in a green pumpkin two of the staples, right? I mean green pumpkin is like the best all-around color. They also gave you a uh, that June bug in case it's dirtier water and then last but not least they gave you the quiver 6.5 in the green pumpkin flash Green pumpkin with like that flashy flake inside there. So that's everything in the pond fishing kit. Again, I think those are a, a cool idea, a good mix of stuff. Um, I'm excited to uh, to kind of go through this a little bit more in depth for folks. And like I said, I'm giving this away to a couple beginners out there to hopefully help you. Uh, if you need some tackle and trying to get into some of this, it'll help you out. Okay, so more to come on those very soon. Now, what did I get? So for me, I got some things, a lot of these uh, I've never used. And some of them were just kind of some colors I wanted to try and things I have used. So first off is the Crawfather. I want to say I had one package of these somewhere. I don't know if I used them or lost them or what, but I haven't used it before. Neat looking little craws. Say how long it is? Doesn't say, but it's in that super bug color. That's that color I was telling you about earlier. It's like black and blue on top. You flip it around. It's like a green pumpkin with like a greenish blue flake in there. I guess it's probably just a blue flake, but... Green pumpkin, black and blue, cool color. I really dig that color, uh, and I like the claws. You can see it's kind of got those club-shaped deals sort of on the end, similar to like a, a rage craw type thing. Um, it's got the little legs on the side. It's pretty skinny. These are pretty thin, so I imagine those are gonna have a ton of kicky action. Never used them. I see these on a Texas rig doing great around here in the Midwest. You could use them as a little jig trailer, but uh, the Crawfather. I also got the Crawfather and Wicked Craw, which I really like because we have a bunch of those bluish craws around here. It's like a green pumpkin with like a blue swirl throughout, kind of randomly. Kind of a neat color. I'm digging it. I wish the color was, it looked like it was a little less blue. Now that I get it, it's kind of a sky blue. I don't like that as much, but it's got flake in it. I don't, I don't know. Never know until you try it. So we'll give that baby a go. And last is the Crawfather and El Diablo. And you can see what they call it that. Kind of a reddish, orangish, black, brown. Just a neat, natural look. We've got those rusty craws around here. Um, they kind of have that reddish brown. I thought it looked good. I think that's just kind of a cool, different. I like how the colors are kind of random in it. Okay, next up are some D-bombs. Now, D-bombs, you've probably already heard of them. The Missile Date Baits D-bomb is widely used by a bunch of folks who like to flip and pitch. And that's what I've used this for 
flipping and pitching around timber uh, and brush especially this is called the uh, the bruiser color this lure is like three four maybe a little over four inches something like that um, but it's a great profile and it's not solid so when you look at it these are all ribs in there so the body is inside solid but the rest of it these ribs around the outside just kind of add to you know the water displacement it looks like a bigger meal but it's not a big huge solid uh, you know hard plastic nothing for it to get caught in like when you're throwing this uh, around brush and timber very streamlined there's no weird appendages that are going to get caught up it's got like these little side feet deals and then the flappy legs and those do flap they're very thin they've got little ridges on them just a cool bait and if you've never used the d-bomb give it a try i've had really good luck with it uh, the only thing i don't like about the missile bait stuff i should have grabbed a bag i've got some over there is like if you keep them in the bag for a long time like i've got this like craw star anise like licorice -y, black licorice type smell to it they smell good um but if you leave them in the bag like for too long i notice that like these juices will kind of seep and the colors like leak in the like the plastic or something i don't know so like all this coloring like leaks out and looks like somebody like painted with watercolors and then drizzled water all over it it gets all mixed up so i don't know what that's about if they fix that but i've had some older bags and they did that and it like kind of leaks grease so you just kind of have to be careful with that make sure it's completely closed okay next up another d-bomb bayou flash old bayou colors purple is supposed to be a good bayou color down there and Louisiana, a real purpley purple color i honestly don't throw a ton now like the black grape tequila sunrise um those are great but like this type of purple i don't throw a lot and it's got even the purple like glitter on the bottom so purple glittery bottom bottom with that black top i thought it was just a neat color i'm a fan of black and purple i think it's underrated because everybody automatically goes to black and blue but um, this kind of shade or color of purple i don't throw a lot so I figured let's pick up that baby okay this one's called toxic grape now this is kind of more of the like the black and purple that i was talking about like this black lightish whoops stubby hair this black lightish purple color and this one oh i like this this has like a dark purple top with a green pumpkin like purple flake belly i like that a lot that's cool that's neat i didn't know that it was green pumpkin i thought it was black with uh this kind of electric purple color that's neat i dig it okay and then the last d-bomb that i got i think this is the last actual big d-bomb color that i got this is called golden amber so again i was getting something that was like a very natural crawfishes type color so this ambery orange belly into like a, a green pumpkinish top neat color it's got silver and black flake when you look at it from the top the belly of it's just clean and clear nothing really on it until you get to the tail like i said real thin but cool profile i like the ribs um, good scent to it the d-bomb is a great lure if you've never tried it now they also come in two sizes so they've got that original d-bomb size actually i should grab one of these so i can show you and then also these which they call their baby d-bomb so i got some of these i actually don't believe i've used the baby d-bomb at all um, and when i saw these when i was looking at their uh, online store i thought you know what i bet those would be great for some finesse jigs of course i've been making some of my own finesse jigs let's try it so that's what we've got the difference there so the regular d-bomb versus the little baby d-bomb much smaller more compact different little you know tiny smaller profile great for like finesse jigs and stuff so that's why i picked those up again this is that el diablo color same that we saw in that uh what was it the crawfather or whatever darker top that orangish red belly neat color definitely liking that one a lot i also picked up the bruiser flash which is like a black and blue i know obviously a little finesse black and blue jig around here uh, or anywhere really is popular but around here especially does extremely well so that one i think will do great on some little black and blue round ball head finesse jigs then i got what they call the baby destroyer um never used this one ever uh neat profile i honestly when i was looking at these i opened all these up and was looking at them before but um, when i checked this out i wish i would have got some more because that profile is cool so it's got that like baby d-bomb style deal here it's got a couple little dangly legs those and then these two like grub twin tail grubs on the back small profile it's not big when you compare this to like the d-bomb should stop putting this d-bomb away there you go so you can see the size there the d-bomb is still a much more bigger bulkier looking deal a little bit more finesse but it's going to have a lot more movement these are going to kick and flutter you know like grubs whereas this is more of you know kind of a subtle wave action 
really for pitching and flipping in you know tight spaces brush stuff where normally you know warm or something can kind of get hung up but I really like that and that's in that color I like a lot from them uh, what is it called super bug okay now last up here are some of those little paddle tails that I said I picked up for myself so first off I got a couple different colors in the 3.5 so little 3.5 pearl there of course your white pearl um, standard to have a little white pearl color they do well everywhere whether or not you have shad they just do well in dirty water uh, in my experience I also got some of those 3.5s in that shrapnel that we saw earlier in that pack got some of those for myself to try out but I also got kind of a clearish color they call this fishalicious you saw that in the quiver but this let me take out one you know when you see those really small bait fish those little like minnows they almost have that translucent -y clear body look to them that's why I got those. Look at that. Doesn't that look good like one of those little minnows you see swimming up toward the top? They almost look like they're made out of glass when you see them in the water, right? Just crazy, but kind of a smoky gray top and it's got like this bluish uh, flake in there that kind of reflects. Hopefully that shows up on camera. I can't really tell here, but again, nice small body, small profile. I can see these working well on a chatterbait. It's not big and bulky here, so Shouldn't really interrupt with the uh, ch a chatter rate of uh, vibrating jig. Uh, just on like a little finesse head, I think would look cool. Back of a swim jig. I mean, I think these will do really well. Uh, like I said, I've never fished them. So I don't know, but I like the way they look. Okay, and last up, I got a, a few of these in a 4.25 size. I believe they only make the two sizes. Don't uh, quote me 100% on that, but this is the one I saw first when I was looking through and I thought, oh yes. They call this one bombshell and it kind of reminds me of like a, a purple chartreuse sexy shad. That top is like a purpley iridescent blue. Kind of depends on what light you have it in, what it looks like, but neat goes with that chartreuse line and then into that kind of clearish pearl smoky belly kind of color. Does really well for me around here, like a sexy shad or a chartreuse sexy shad. Even in the ponds uh, and lakes around here that don't have shad in them, uh, that color has done really, really well for me in kind of dirtyish water. Um, next up, I grabbed Bloody Pro Pearl. Again, in that 4.25. Um, just a weird, different looking color. Nothing that I would normally throw. Kind of that smokyish blue up top. That red kind of bloodline in the middle. And then, uh, I guess you'd say like a smoky blue, light blue, gray bottom. I don't even know really what color you'd call that. Looks a little different on there, but like a smokish color. That top looks a little bit more blue, I guess, compared to it in the camera. But the one I had really had more of a bloodline. So you can see there, kind of a different, must be kind of a random spill of red in there. But that one's really blood red. This one has just like a straight red bloodline. So I don't know. I guess within the pack, they look a little different. All right, next up is the Shockwave 4.25 in Brass Monkey. So it's got this pearly brass top. And the bottom is again that kind of smoky translucent with silver flake all throughout it. Neat color. Not one that I would normally throw like a, a brassish gold kind of to mimic a, a golden shiner kind of type deal. I don't throw that color a lot. I throw like a straight gold, uh, like a gold chrome. Like as far as a lipless I throw a ton, but in soft plastics I mean. Not something that I normally throw. Um, then I also got pink bombshell as the last one. So this kind of reminded me of like a morning dawn. Uh, type color. It's got like a smoky purple pink top into a pink color and then like that pearlish belly. Neat colors. I was going to get more but I started adding to the cart and it was already enough. Like I said I was trying not to buy a bunch from the big companies. I don't know how big Missile Baits is. Um, they have some cool stuff. Honestly I haven't used a ton of their stuff. That's why I put in an order from them. So comment below and let me know out of all of those what are you most excited to see? Uh, that little baby destroyer. I like that one. Those paddle tails, um, some of the quivers, I don't have any more uh, of those. I think I've got one pack. I should have got some more, but some Nico rig. Maybe these packs. Are you really looking forward to seeing these pack videos specific going over this, rigging everything I would use, and then maybe getting a couple tips on the water, uh, and then, of course, giving the rest of that bag away to somebody. So comment below and let me know. Uh, I know they have other bags over there. I only picked up two, but I think they have probably, I don't know, maybe a dozen different 
uh, technique specific bags like pond fishing, Nico. I think they have a Ned rig, swim bait one, I think, something like that. I don't remember what all they have. But anyway, comment below and let me know. Now, today's subscribe feature friend is my guy, Neil. Neil, do you, do you pronounce it Senzik? Neil, I was supposed to send him a crank uh, in a giveaway and I forgot, so I wanted to apologize to you. Um, I got the rest of the giveaways sent out to everyone. I think I spent $88 is what the thing was uh, for shipping through postal service on giveaways. Crazy, I can't believe the amounts they charge you to ship stuff, but um, totally worth it. You guys have supported me a ton. Um, if you didn't see, I hit 100,000. I wasn't gonna make a big deal out of it, but I've had a bunch of people congratulating me, so um, honestly, that's because of all of you. I can make whatever videos I want, but if all of you aren't watching it, I'm never gonna hit it, so. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I do want to thank all of you. Uh, I'm going to be doing a live stream hopefully this weekend with another uh, couple of my buddies who hit 100,000 on Instagram. So we'll see if I can get them on. Um, but I'm going to be doing a 100,000 giveaway. That's a video that I'm going to do specifically like different going over the giveaway stuff. Um, and it's not going to be anything crazy to enter. Just like leave a comment below and I'll do a random deal like that. I might have something special for like a different set of subscribe feature friends. I, I don't know how I want to do it yet. The last time I looked, I was at like 95 uh, and it crept up on me way too quick. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I know I've kept you all too long. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you comment below and let me know if you want to see more of the missile bait stuff, uh, more of their packages or any other type of unboxings, um, places specifically that you want me to uh, purchase some stuff from. I certainly will. So uh, enough for me. Got to edit. Thank you all for watching. And until next time.